Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to solve a compound inequality involving or. Let's jump into our example where we have 6y is less than 30 or 4y plus 10 is greater than 54. Now when we solve a compound inequality involving or, all we need to do is solve each inequality separately. So we need to solve 6y is less than 30. Then we need to solve 4y plus 10 is greater than 54. Let's start with 6y is less than 30. We need to isolate that variable of y. y is being multiplied by 6, so we need the inverse operation of multiplication. That's division. So let's divide the left side by 6. Now remember, whatever we do to one side of an inequality, we must do to the other. So we need to divide the right side by 6 as well. Now the 6s on the left side cancel each other out. So y is now isolated. y is less than. And then on the right, 30 divided by 6 gives us 5. So we have y is less than 5. Now let's solve 4y plus 10 is greater than 54. We have multiplication and addition. So we need to undo the addition first. The inverse operation is subtraction. So let's subtract 10 from the left side and the right side as well. Now the 10s on the left cancel each other out. So we have 4y is greater than, and then on the right side, 54 minus 10 gives us 44. So we have 4y is greater than 44. So y is being multiplied by 4. We need the inverse operation of multiplication. That's division. So divide the left side by 4. We need to divide the right side by 4 as well. The 4s on the left cancel each other out. y is now isolated. We have y is greater than, and then on the right, 44 divided by 4 gives us 11. So we have y is greater than 11. And now we're done solving our two inequalities. So let's rewrite this as a compound inequality involving or. So we have y is less than 5 or y is greater than 11. So again, we have y is less than 5 or y is greater than 11. Now remember, when it comes to compound inequalities involving or, they are true, we have a solution, if either inequality is true. That means that y can be anything less than 5 or y can be anything greater than 11. Any number less than 5 or greater than 11 is a solution of this compound inequality. It will make the compound inequality true. So there you have it. There's how you solve a compound inequality involving or. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.